regularly i speak to lot of working professionals and students who want to come to germany to study masters in data science they ask me questions and doubts such as i'm not from the data science background will i get admission in masters in data science and which data science related course is going to be most beneficial for me according to my profile in this video i'm going to cover all these points so you will be able to decide which university or courses you can go for for your master study in germany so stick around and watch the video till the end hi guys this is sandeep khera and you're watching conical education before we proceed further let me remind you to subscribe below and enable the bell notifications to not miss any updates on this channel you can also follow me on my social media pages links for all of them are given in the description below let's dive into today's video first point i want to speak about is personal connection having a personal connection with the course you want to apply to is really really important for you suppose you are already working in a field which has direct connection with the data science courses such as business intelligence data analytics machine learning artificial intelligence or data modeling then that's a good news for you you are directly eligible to apply for the course and you can highlight this connection in your cover letter in your motivation letter to apply for the admission in that university in that course for those who do not have direct connection with the course that's not a problem you can still establish a connection with the course by highlighting some points by analyzing some points which i'm going to mention let us suppose you are from the background such as software development qa testing application architect or other it related fields or even non it related fields such as automotive electrical or mechanical you still have a chance to establish that connection based on the points which i am going to list out list out parts of your job where you are doing some kind of analysis or digging deeper into the data or list out parts of your job where you are running some kind of sql queries or you are working with databases if you are a developer or qa you can highlight that being a developer or qa you are keen to develop softwares or products which are directly related to data science domain for others who are from non tech background think about parts of their job where they have to deal with data directly or indirectly by running sql queries into the databases by analyzing the data in excel or maybe some other data analysis tools once you have identified these tiny tiny common connections with the course you are applying to make sure to mention all of them in your cover letter in your motivation letter believe me it's definitely going to work if you put forward in a right way Before we proceed further let me tell you that you can download my free best practices resume guide from my website here this will help you to get more interview calls you can also contact me for my coaching services such as job search coaching or job search visa support you can contact me by email or you can contact me by writing me on my website let's proceed further into the video next point is which course to consider data science is a very big field and it has lot of application data science is broadly divided into two categories data engineering and data analytics if you are a person from software programming background knows about coding algorithms flow charts logic validation and verification then you can consider to go for data engineering courses in this you will be working on front end and back end applications used for data analytics or sometimes other related applications If you are a person who is working more related to data analytics works such as excel sql queries databases business intelligence reporting dashboards or other data analytics related works or maybe also data modeling then you can go for data analytics course in this you will be working on the applications which will be used to drive the useful information from the existing data it will be helpful to take the business decisions or sometimes these kind of processes will help the machines to learn for the predictive modeling so you can decide accordingly if you are a person who is coming from straight out of the college then you can also go for such courses by joining the projects related to data science machine learning software development or other related work areas only thing is required is that you must be having a great passion to go in this area and you can show this by joining the personal projects you have worked on during your college projects or during your internships then you can easily go into data science related masters courses in germany courses in demand though both data engineering and data analytics have lot of courses and are in very high demand you can choose any one of them based on your own experiences and your interest 
still keep in mind that data engineering is just the software development of the application related to data science. So there are already a lot of professionals working into software development and testing. They are developing the applications for all other domains. In the same way, they can very easily develop the applications related to data domain, related to data science domain. So the competition is going to be little difficult there. Whereas data analytics is more about understanding the data, crunching a lot of data and converting all such data into useful information. Some of the examples could be when you are browsing through the websites, you see many ads and you are surprised to see that you are searching for the same thing earlier today. Or when you are watching a video on YouTube, you can see a list of videos down below which are related to your interest areas. These are just simple examples. You can think about Alexa, you can think about Siri or Google Assistant. These are just predictive modeling softwares which analyze the data and based on that respond to the human behavior or human commands. Or there are many such other applications in the areas of automotive, medical, electrical and other fields. Data analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence are still new and lot of demand is coming in and lot of jobs have already been created. But in future, lot of more jobs will be created as huge demand for such applications is coming in. If I talk about the working professionals in the fields related to data analytics, not so many people available in the market. That's why all those professionals which are already in the field are in very high demand. So you still stand a good chance to get into this field if you do masters in that area. I have just spoken at a very high level about data engineering, data analytics and its future. You can research more and explore about it. There are many universities offering the courses combination of both data engineering and data analytics. You can search about them. Technical University of München is one such example. This is all I have in today's video. You can give a thumbs up or comment below, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.